Hello guys and welcome to my craft desk. Tatiana is here with you today. In this video I'm showcasing you an exclusive stamp set made for September event by Newton Snook Designs. Recently I have been using a lot of coordinating dies on my cards and so today I decided to switch to a one layer card or almost one layer watercolor card using a little bit of masking. Creating this scene I used first masking paper and stamped the cute fox on top. Next I fussy cut this image following the stamp edges and start building my scene on a hot pressed watercolor paper from Fabriano brand. Basically, with masking technique, you want to stamp first the image that you have in front of your scene. Next, you apply your mask on top and stamp what stands behind. I used Versafine Onox black ink on today's project and stamped the fox first, then applied the mask and added two cute dogs. These creatures have some bunnies in their hands and mouths, so that were perfect spots to add the sentiments from the same stamp set I used before. I believe that there would be no perfect birthday without birthday balloons. And so I added a few from Newton Snook Design's Playful Pandas stamp set. Once again I created a little mask for the balloon that you see in the center. First I stamped the balloon on my scene, next I applied the mask and then added two other balloons on both sides. I lifted up the balloon mask and added a few details with a waterproof black pen. Versafine Onox black ink that I used for stamping is a pigment one and that means that it takes a while to dry. So be sure to heat set your sweet scene or let it air dry for a while before starting watercoloring. Today I am taking my personalized panel of fine watercolors. I've gathered together a few brands such as Windsor & Newton, Daniel Smith and Schminke. Making my watercoloring I'm working in layers and let every layer dry in between. I'm starting with initial really light layer of colors. Next I'm bringing more and more shades. For that I'm using more concentrated colors or mixing them with more darker shades. I didn't want my creatures flying in the air so I rounded them painting some grass underneath. Once everything is dry I trimmed my panel slightly smaller than a regular A2 size card base and popped the watercolor panel on top of a craft base with a little bit of foam tape. Finally I'm bringing more details, first with a fine black and then with white gel pants. And here is my finished card. Thanks so much for stopping by, I really appreciate it a lot.